Hello and welcome to another CAD clip on AutoCAD 2007 3D and we're going to talk about the slice command similar to our um, section plane command that we did in an earlier lesson. Section plane um, is different in that it re it retains um, the part that's being sectioned off and then if you erase the section plane the uh, the removed part that is being sectioned away re comes back so slicing really slices it in half into two parts and you can retain one or the other um, the um, so the slice similar to the section plane but section plane retains the full model and has a lot more options once it's created as in slice as a one-time operation where you slice it and that's it you can't go back and remove the slice or unslice it it's just a um, a command that alters the objects permanently whereas section plane does not necessarily do permanent change to the objects so one example of slicing we've got our um, gear that we made in an earlier lesson here we can look at that in 3d and you know change our our view etc I've just got some objects predetermined using my visual styles here I'll go back to the top view so we'll start with our slice command here off of our dashboard and then the quickest way to use slice really is to select the objects enter and then without using your snap or with your snap is to basically draw a line and I'll just get sloppy enter and then it keeps both sides then I can move this piece away if I want. I can go back and look at that in 3D and I've really just kind of sliced that. Okay, I'm going to undo. Do that one more time. Slice a couple of times. Okay, pick my object. Enter. Okay, and then I'm going to say even pick a midpoint of here to the midpoint of there and it's going to ask me. Select a point on desired side to keep. I want to keep this side. Slices that over. Then we've got that. Okay, easiest way to do the slice command, undo it back. Okay, maybe I want to slice through here, slice. These are all one objects, just to make sure. Pick a point from here to here, and then pick this side to keep, and then it slices that. Okay, probably the easiest way to use the slice command. We also have... Um, some options when we go in and slice and we pick an object for instance enter we can slice by the XY plane or the um, XZ or the ZX plane of your UCS and I uh, encourage you to go back as a prerequisite for a lot of this 3D specifically the uh, slicing command and have a look at our AutoCAD 2006 3D lessons we go into great detail about a lot of these commands that are in here that I'm just going to skim over because I really don't want to do uh, the lesson twice if I've already done it and it really hasn't changed so um, the other one that we're going to try is the object one, which is a little bit tricky, and I, you've got to know a little bit about your UCS to have that one work. So the interesting thing is a lot of times people, what I did initially was to, um, for instance, draw a line that might go from here or a polyline because you can use... Um, an object to slice and I thought I could do draw an L like that and then go slice pick this enter use the O for object and pick this and then try to select a side and it it won't work it'll error out on you or it'll give you un, um, unexpected results you have to realize the cutting plane when you use object the object option of slicing it, the cutting plane is the plane that this polyline was drawn on not projecting off of the plane but the plane so in other words the cutting plane of this polyline is the surface that it was drawn on down here which would slice it in half the other direction and I'm to my understanding I'm have not been able to figure out how to use the slice command to basically remove that section at least with the slice command so what I've done is just combine a couple of different things to achieve that what I'm going to do is this I'm going to take my slice click here to get a quarter section is what I'm going to try to do 
enter and I'm going to say okay from here down to here and then I'm going to retain both by hitting an enter okay escape now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get tricky and rotate this one about this by you know this much for uh, 90 degrees and then I'm going to union these two pieces back together and then I've got my quarter section that way so that's how I achieve that myself okay one way of getting around a little bit of a workaround on that one okay now the other thing is is to just use you know um, move your UCS and start to use this slice command um, here enter and using some of these again um, repeated exercise from our AutoCAD 2006 3D lessons where we go over all of these okay so we can also use S for surface and then maybe pick that as a surface oh that's not a surface that's a solid so um, that's about all I wanted to do for now on the uh, slice command uh, oh I wanted to slice up a, a sphere so let's try that okay back to the top the quickest way again just to slice and dice is a good example is I'm gonna draw a sphere over here okay and I might even look from the front view just to have a different angle doesn't really matter okay and then slicing here enter pick pick enter enter pick enter click click enter enter click enter click click enter then we could just take this for instance start to move this aside okay maybe go back and look at that in our 3d view just as an example of what I the the quickest way to use the slice command okay and then we can go in if we wanted take these because we cannot use our if we go to our solid editing we cannot use our um, color faces to color the face of a sphere shape oh yes we can I didn't realize we could do that okay just learned something right there color face pick on here enter pick a color works okay usually what I do is I take the whole solid mass object and go in here for instance and then pick a color off of there instead so you can change the colors of those objects by surfaces etc which is what I did here and over here so get a little bit creative have a look at our previous AutoCAD 2006 uh, training videos for more detail information on the slice command In fact, I think we will do a quick demo of using the object as a, as a slicing um, plane. So let's try that right now. So let's draw a circle. I'm going to draw a circle. I'm going to go up to my top view here, and then I'm going to use a circle, and I'm going to draw a circle not using my object snap. Draw that circle out like that, okay? And then I'm going to go to my front view, okay? And then maybe I'm going to take that circle and move it down a little bit okay we'll try the slice command we'll pick our slice command we'll select our objects here enter and we'll say O for object this is our object both sides I'm gonna just uh, pick the bottom and it'll slice off the top for that go back to my top view now sometimes though that errors out when we do a slice by object and what I recommend is to reset your um, UCS to be um, perpendicular um, or I should say coplanar to the to the cutting plane remember this circle some people think that it slices you know like a cookie cutter up and down it doesn't the circle or even the rectangle will slice in the plane that it was drawn so uh, quite often I will say before we draw this circle I will set my UCS to be for instance world okay and then I'll go in and maybe draw a rectangle doesn't even have to um, cut through the object in plan as long as the slicing plane is there and then if we go to the front view okay move that up so watch what happens when we try to do the slice here the first time I'm gonna just kinda pan over here a bit 
I'm going to go get my um, my slice command, grab the objects I want to slice, hit enter, O for object, pick on this rectangle, and then say pick on the bottom side, and I'm going to get some weird unexpected result. Okay, I don't have no idea. That's because my UCS is actually not at the same plane this was created. So watch what happens. I'm going to go undo. Back to here. I'm going to leave everything as is, but I'm going to type, watch my crosshairs right now. My X and Y have been, because when you reset these, they reset your UCS, which is your drawing plane. So now I'm going to say UCS world. Okay. And now I'm going to do a slice. I'm going to do the same thing. Pick these objects, enter O for object pick this as my object, pick the bottom half, or say B for both, and now I've sliced this this way, even though this didn't even really touch it. So I have to admit, slicing by object can be quite challenging um, at times. The main thing is draw the object on, on one plane, switch to a perpendicular view, and move that plane up and down. And when you do the slice, um, I recommend resetting your UCS to the plane that this object was, the slicing plane was drawn on. So a couple little extra tips there. And once again, prerequisite, have a look at our previous um, 3D videos for AutoCAD 2006.